In this section of Active Administrator, we'll be discussing group policy management. Now, anything that you can do in native tools with Group Policy Management Console, you can also accomplish right here through Active Administrator, but we'll also provide for you Enhanced Group Policy Management, which I'll go into in just a moment. And the Group Policy Objects tab on the console up at top, if I click on any GPO, I can see the security group filters for that policy. I can see where that policy is linked to. I can easily add or remove GPO links. I can also right-click on any of my GPOs, and I can report group policy settings or affected group policy registry keys, or I can get a domain GPO summary. Where Active Administrator really differs from that of native tools is one when I want to make a change to a GPO as opposed to backing a GPO up creating a test organizational unit and simulating the structure of my production environment or standing up a development domain or test domain that mirrors my production domain so I can make changes in my development domain and test them out before I redo those changes back in production, Active Administrator utilizes what we call an offline group policy repository. So if I'd like to make a change to, let's say, my security GPO, I could simply right-click on that policy and add it to an offline repository. Once I've added it to my offline repository, what we've done is made a carbon copy of the GPO. So I can simply check this GPO out. Once checking the GPO out, I can edit the GPO offline. Now when I make any configuration changes to the policy in this state, I'm not impacting my production GPO as this is the copied GPO. After I've gone ahead and made some changes to the policy, if I'd like to go ahead and test what those changes are, I can simply come over here to result and set of policy. I can take any user or any computer where the GPO is being applied. I can also simulate moves. What if this user goes to a different OU or computer goes to a different OU or site? And what Active Administrator provides is the ability to use my offline group policy repository to calculate result and set of policy. So I can say, well, what if I change my security GPO, apply to two specified objects in their respective containers? I can view and calculate what the result and set of that policy is. In fact, I can see that my default domain policy, my offline security GPO, my Citrix, my Citrix 2 GPO are being applied to both my user and my computer in this scenario and I can easily and quickly report out the resultant set of policy settings based on the offline configuration of the policy that I've modified. Once taking a look at this report, I can see every configuration as well as a GPO that's applying the configuration and as you see here in this RSOP report, it's utilizing the offline security GPO as I've selected in the previous screen. Once verifying that the settings will be updated to the specified objects as I've indicated here, I can come back over to my offline repository, simply check my policy in and apply the changes, which will save the work that I've done to the policy, and then it will allow me to publish the offline GPO to Active Directory. As you can see, I can also run reports that would compare my offline GPO to my live GPO to assure that the settings that I've changed is exactly what I'd like to do. When making a change to a GPO, whether the change be made right here through Active Administrator or the change be made via native tools, we're going to archive and maintain a full version history of all GPO changes. By simply clicking on the GPO, I can see every revision that this GPO has gone through. I can see the last time that this GPO was changed was on July 15th. Well, maybe I'd like to know exactly what that change was on July 15th. Well, I can simply do a comparison report against the previous version of the GPO and click on show changes and I'll have a delta report of the before and after values of exactly what had changed on this policy. After viewing this report maybe I liked the way that the policy was configured previously as opposed to the way that it is now. Well by maintaining this full version history of policies I have the capability to roll a GPO back to any archived revision. I can simply select the version of the GPO that I'd like to roll back, click the roll back button, and I can choose to roll it back with the security filters as well as the GPO links. So we're truly managing the full life cycle over group policy here. I also have the ability to take a look at group policy objects by container. Simply clicking on the container, seeing all the GPOs being applied in that container, I can see the order of highest priority of these policies, and I can run various reports in different levels from the GPO uh, by container tab. I also have the ability with client-side troubleshooting to connect to any machine in my environment and verify the policy settings have been updated and applied as I make changes to them so I can verify the application of those GPOs. 
So as you can see, we provide a lot of group policy management here within the Active Administrator console, far over and above that of native tools.